What is up YouTube? Welcome finally to another installment of our graffiti freight train watching series. I'm Skiz. In this series we basically walk the line, take a look at some of the great graffiti like the stuff behind me here, some of the great artwork, the throw ups, the tags, the whole nine yards, and do a little bit of analysis and take a look at some of the great work here that is being displayed on these sort of moving art galleries for anyone who's smart enough to look at it. So stick around, we're gonna jump right into it. And of course, as you can see here behind me, we're starting off big with Rune Allen Hero, the beautiful whole car here. I, I really appreciate the, the Hero piece here, particularly because, you know, he's injected a little bit of style into this, but he's also kept it simplistic enough that it's very readable and it's just a really nice way to do a whole car, basically. So props to Hero for that. And of course, Runal, he's, you know, he does quite a bit of work, really. I don't know where he's from. All I know is I see him up quite a bit. So props to both of them for that. That car right there is sort of a clue as to what's to come as well. There's tons and tons of great stuff, big stuff. A lot of writers here putting in huge amounts of effort to get their names up and get some great graffiti on these cars. Here's another one here. One from Klon, I want to say. K-L-O-N, I believe. He sort of separated his uh, N and his K a little bit, unless I'm just reading it wrong and it's cloys or something like that, but uh, yeah. I really appreciate how he's done the 3D on that piece. Uh, it's a great way to do it. Makes a nice impact for uh, something large scale like that. Of course, as always, if you guys recognize any of these writers, put it in the comment. Hey, some of them could be you guys, some of them could be friends of yours, something like that. It's always great to know where these writers are coming from, know where these freights have been. Again, another Runal. We got 2019 there on that one. I'll take a step closer for you. It's hard to complain when you see simple styles like that. We got a 2019 here by Slush. Slush is one you'll see quite a bit in this area anyway, at least. Again, very simple. A little more staggered with each letter than you see in a lot of graph, but hey, nothing particularly wrong with that. Certainly makes an impact. And with a lot of these freights, that's sort of what you're out to do. But as I was saying before, it's super important. If you see anyone you know, see anyone you recognize from your area, throw it in the comments, because that's how uh, we all sort of stay connected as a one graffiti community. Even though it's become a more increasingly online graffiti community, this is one of the benefits of the online side of documenting graffiti and that sort of thing, is that uh, we can all sort of learn more about a lot of the writers who are putting a lot of effort, a lot of time, making some great strides towards having super nice styles and great pieces and displaying them for everyone. So if you see anyone, put it in the comments. Something there. Got a nice dinky tag up there, I like that. Again, clean style, he was obviously reaching a bit, but love that little tag style. And one of the things we paid attention to in a couple of our other episodes is a couple lines of tankers because, as I was saying in those episodes, you can see some nicer work from a lot of the Markal artists, people putting down a lot of good character work, a lot of good tag styles, and you can learn a hell of a lot from just different hand styles and stuff like that as well. So I do like to pay a bit of attention to some smaller stuff like this being done. We have seen this in some other episodes here on the channel as well. If you go back and watch some of the other episodes, you'll recognize some of the people that are definitely in this episode. Of course, I can link the whole series in the corner if you want to look. We've had five episodes of our Graffiti Freight Train watching series so far, and of course, I hope to do many more because it's a nice little series on the channel and it's been highly requested that I continue doing it. So that's what we're here to do today. So up ahead here, we actually have personally one of my favorite cars on this entire line. I'm a sucker for a good jagged style and Stein here, take a step back, has put down exactly that um, beautiful, beautiful style. And also it's just plain super clean. Hailing from the MHC crew there, it looks like. 
but yeah this is this is a beautiful style and one thing i do appreciate about this piece in particular too is he's used three colors he's used black he's used white and a nice green background to make it stand out very impactful and a lot of times when you're doing like a more intricate style like that it is nice to keep the colors more simplistic to make it make sense a little bit looks like they uh this guy was getting up together with stein here he used more of a gray and white with the same green background also from mhc now of course this is just complex beyond belief yeah to be honest i need a little bit to sit here and read it but what i notice about it right away is he's done a great job of balancing the negative space quite nicely if you look over here he's got one sort of big arrow there another sort of big arrow there i'm never really a fan of extensions that don't come from somewhere and aren't really organic but he's done a very nice job of making those two sort of balance out the piece and at least add something to it so big fan of that big fan of that and of course you can't argue with a nice uh, consistent style like that one of the most important things you should be looking to do in your graffiti is if you're going to make a complex style you need to make it consistent all the way through that's one of the things that makes a complex style look any good at all really so it's important to remember that that's the best way i can put it of course we got some faded out stuff here I always like to try and show it. And up here we have a couple people you recognize from the beginning of the last episode, linked in the cards in the corner. These are huge writers. Beast. Love his throw-up style. Always, always have. I'd like to say that's a 2013 piece. It certainly looks aged enough to be that. In which case, that's seven years old. That's awesome. That's really awesome to see. Even more awesome to see is Nah here. If any of you guys know Freights in the area I am, you know he's up all the time. Very consistent with this style too, also 2013. They look old, I, I bet they really are 2013. Sizek or Sizio, I've never actually known because he very commonly sort of cuts his C or his O with that, so it could just be like a bar line or it or it could be a C, but yeah. He's up with, with uh, Beast and Nat all the time as well, I think. Again, here we have a nice bench by Runel. Very simple style. Not much else to say about it than that. Personally, I don't necessarily see the fun in doing too many pieces like this. To me, and this is just a personal opinion, it's okay if, if people don't agree on the channel. But to me, like half the fun of graph is, is the style and injecting a bit of style into your fonts and your lettering. But uh, if, if people wanna do pieces like that, you can't argue with it either. We have some gorgeous uh, hand styles up here I want to take a quick look at for you guys. We got Beast. Love the bee there, the little uh, serifs on the bee. Very nice. Yeah, so our graffiti freight train watching is one of the many series we do on the channel here. We do a lot of graffiti reviews. I showcase some of my work on the channel as well. If you want to take a look at more of these freight train watching episodes, we've got a lot of killer lines that we've looked at. So I will link them on screen for you guys to look at. Check out the channel, see if you like anything. If you do, maybe hit that subscribe button. Until my next one, peace.